In the 19th century, the Ottomans faced numerous nationalist movements. In the Balkans, the Greeks were the first to gain their independence in 1832. Over the following decades, Romania, Serbia and Montenegro were granted full independence, the Bulgarians were rewarded with their own principality, and the Austro-Hungarians occupied Bosnia. Wars between Bulgaria and Serbia, and the Ottomans in Greece, encouraged the nations to strengthen their armies. Yet, the nationalist rebellions within the Ottoman Empire continued. Then, in 1908, the Young Turk Revolution restored the constitution to the Ottoman Empire. However, the resulting chaos allowed the Bulgarians to finally proclaim their full independence and, under Tsar Ferdinand, develop a large army. The Austrians also fully annexed Bosnia, putting an end to the Serbian hopes of expanding north. Then, Albanian uprisings threatened Serbian expansion south. These Albanian uprisings corresponded with the Italian invasion of Libya in 1911, a war which demonstrated that the Great Powers had no intention to preserve the Ottoman Empire and showed the Ottomans were weak. Now the Balkan nations saw they could win and take over the Ottoman territories they desired. So the Serbians signed an alliance with the Bulgarians, promising them southern Macedonia after the war. Greece, fearing they'd be left out of the territorial gains, soon made alliances in mid-1912. And finally, Montenegro, just a minor power, entered into these alliances and the Balkan League was formed. The nations began to mobilize and Montenegro declared war on the Ottomans in early October 1912. They were joined by their allies on the 17th of October, just before the Italians made peace with the Ottomans. The Greek strong navy prevented Ottoman reinforcements from arriving in Europe and this allowed the Balkan allies to make quick gains. In just over a month, the Bulgarian had advanced south to the Aegean Sea and also lay siege to Adrianople. The Serbians pushed south into Albania, Montenegrins expanded west and the Greeks moved north and took Salonika. Also, in late November, the Albanians in Vlora declared their independence. The Bulgarians tried to take Constantinople, however their assault was repulsed, so, along with Serbian Montenegro, they signed an armistice with the Turks in early December and peace talks began. However, Adrianople remained under siege and the Greeks continued fighting in northern Epirus. Meanwhile, in Constantinople, the Committee of Union and Progress, led by Enver Pasha, feared Adrianople would be given to Bulgaria, so staged a coup in January 1930 and this brought Bulgaria, Serbia and Montenegro back into the conflict. The Bulgarians fought off an Ottoman counterattack, and then, in March, Ioannina fell to the Greeks and the Bulgarians took Adrianople. The Ottomans were finally forced to make peace at the Conference of London, which was overseen by the Great Powers. The Turks' European territory was divided, but a lot of disputes emerged. Firstly, Albania was granted independence, but they didn't receive as much land as they hoped for. Also, Albanian independence angered the Serbians, who had occupied their lands. So the Serbians, seeing they would achieve very little otherwise, withdrew from their previous agreements with the Bulgarians and continued to occupy southern Macedonia. So knowing how Bulgaria would react, Serbia signed a defensive alliance with the Greeks. Also, the Romanians feared the growing Bulgarian threat, so claimed the town of Silistria, and the great powers granted it to them. So now, facing encirclement and the loss of territory, Bulgaria invaded southern Serbia in June 1913, with the hopes of occupying as much land as they could before the great powers, particularly Russia, could interfere. Serbian victories prevented the Bulgarians from pushing further into Serbia, while the Greeks crossed into Bulgaria from the south. Then, on the 10th of July, the Romanians entered into the war, citing their concerns over Bulgaria's ambitions. They marched across the Danube and captured Varna, meeting very little resistance. This convinced the Ottomans, who hoped to reclaim their lost provinces, to enter the war as well. Now the Bulgarians were surrounded and the situation became untenable. They were driven out of Serbia and then all four nations began pushing into Bulgaria. With Sofia threatened, the Bulgarians sued for peace. Romania took southern Dobrija, Greece expanded to the Nestos River, Serbia cemented its control over Vardar Macedonia, and the Ottomans retook Adrianople. The wars emboldened the Serbians, and this worried the Austrians. It also strained Austro-Russian relations, and the tensions would boil over when Gavrilo Princip shot Archduke Franz Ferdinand in 1914, beginning World War I. Plus, the wars also guaranteed that during the First World War, Bulgaria would join the Central Powers in the fight against Serbia and Russia. 